Oh, welcome back my garden friends. Well, I just need to do a little bit of seed saving. These are the Hendrick snow peas and uh, they're nice and uh, ready. Don't need too many. But before I uh, decide to strip this out, I've had loads and loads of uh, peas off these. And you don't need many for a row. So I'll fill that container. Looking for the better pods, but I don't think it makes uh, a lot of difference. But it's certainly well worth saving your own seed. Peas normally come true. And I'll probably find a few more when I start uh, pulling them out, but they're overcrowding the courgettes, so need to get them out. Still a lot on here that uh, aren't going to do any good. We'll probably end up with peas growing all over the allotments uh, when we use the compost. I'll finish this off, clear this bed. There's some sugar snap peas on the other side. These are the Thompson and Morgan sugar snap. Let's have a look. A little bit of fresh manure. Good job I've got my labels. Uh, Marge 2P. What else labels have we got in here? Garlic, water, mice experiment. That was to keep the... I did that to see if it would stop the mice from uh, pinching them. And as you can see, succeeded these peas are a little bit bigger but we know they're ready at that stage like I say I might have to dig a little bit deeper on these but while I'm pulling them out they're all over the place some of them haven't properly dried out but uh, they do need to uh, to go so I'll just set you back and we'll clear this bed and tidy it up. As you can see, the mice have been busy enjoying the peas. We don't mind sharing. <laughs> the uh, autumn fruit in canes. I'm going to save all of them, sort them out. But unfortunately, the Hendrix and the uh, Marge 2 have actually uh, pulled it over this time. So I have to think a bit better next year. It's raining again. Rain and warmth is blight, so best to open everything up the best we can. But where the mice have been eating the peas? They did like your peas, Nick the gardener. So there's the Hendrick uh, snow peas. Oh, and Mr. Caterpillar, I'll pop in in the uh, compost bin. I've started to use the temporary compost bins now because I've finished uh, seal, uh, sealing the uh, worm bin up shortly or have I done it depends when you see this video now I can get to this I'll get this tidied up get that weed pulled out I can now see the courgettes I certainly prefer the green coated plastic coated metal canes but the autumn fruiting canes are a free resource and they break down so that's why I use those All right next on the list is the broad beans they're the crimson ones hopefully I don't mind which we get but the temporary compost bins are now where the broad beans uh, were sweet corns uh, coming to life now 
won't be long before we can top uh, fin uh, put all these beds to sleep got lots of DIY to do at home and look after Mrs K well she's looking after me now she's even driving bless her it won't be long before I need to put a netted bag onto these the pollinators have finished off all the flowers by the looks of it so that no seed falls on the floor these are the uh, sweet candle F1 that we planted in 2023 even though I've got some more sugar snap peas which were successionally sown obviously I'm harvesting those now some of these others have got too big yes they're probably not dry enough but I needed to clear this bed the Hendrick snow peas which the mice love and they're definitely uh, crimson uh, broad beans just get this all bed finished off tidy now tidy this one up cut out all the big courgettes get them composted or given away but it's well worth doing as some of your plants go to seed we'll be doing it with the tomatoes later on we'll be doing it with the uh, the beans the pongo beans etc the simple ones there's some simple ones that don't take no saving because in the end if they grew well in your allotment garden growing spaces then it's worth saving those seeds because you know that uh, they are suitable for your area, ground, or whatever. And we can add it to the walking onions that we saved. Not a clue. These are the walking onions, so these will be the uh, opria. And then some of the poor old onions that uh, got abused as usual I'll be eaten unless the seed heads actually mature and we can save the seed off those and I've got a volunteer in my silver skin pickling onions it won't be long before I harvest those does anybody want to take a guess at what that might be leave it in the comments and good old Babette she's gone to seed Babette is in the garden popper of pop and visitor I might save the seed off that. I've got to get the container out of the water. We thought it might do better because celery does like, is a bog plant. It liked it so much that it's uh, gone to seed. You little devil, Babette. Don't forget the thumbs up or a thumbs down for the interaction. Please leave me a comment on any subject you like. Join in with those comments. And learn as much as you can from those comments. That's where I learn everything. Then I share my experiences. And why not consider subscribing to see what else I'm up to. And thank you to everyone, uh, everyone's continued support and kind messages. A couple of reviews coming up soon and I'll appreciate any visits uh, from my regular viewers uh, with a thumbs up and uh, a watch. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. For half an hour.